Another pattern in the Making Method Calls Simpler series, which I very commonly see in, in the wild, in existing code, is called Replace Error Code with Exception. Now the motivation here is that a method is returning a special code to indicate that an error has occurred, when it should just throw an exception instead. Now I'll see a lot of excuses for this in code online, usually Stack Overflow questions, where people say that uh, an exception is a, uh, a resource-heavy thing to happen, and that it's uh, something that should be avoided. Really, I mean, if it's the exceptional case, then resource-heavy shouldn't really be, be a big deal. Uh, throwing an exception is not really that resource-heavy. Uh, misproperly handling exceptions could become somewhat resource-intensive on, uh, on a high volume system. But as long as those exceptions really are exceptional cases and they're handled correctly, then performance really shouldn't be an issue on that. Uh, now, there's, there are some reasons to return a magic value like this, although I wouldn't want to call it a magic value. Let's say, for example, you have a, a service boundary where the systems that consume that service are not under your control. Well, then you might not have the luxury of an exception handling system that can bubble up across that service boundary into a technology that's ready to receive it, such as with WCF services, where you have a, a known client and a known server. You might not have a known client in this case, and so you might want to create sort of a standard API envelope for your response, and that envelope might include error codes and error messages. That's fine. That's perfectly reasonable. Uh, but you still wouldn't want to do this magic number scenario here where the error is just a, a negative one. So here what we're going to do is throw an exception instead. So what we have in this method is this withdraw method that is taking an amount, checking if that amount is greater than the available balance, return an error, otherwise return zero which indicates that everything was fine. Well we shouldn't have to return anything from this. Our error can simply be, uh, let's call it, let's call it an argument exception. Then we can get rid of that return statement. And that's pretty much it. Now in the book, uh, Martin Fowler went through a lot more examples because in Java, you have checked versus unchecked exceptions, and so he had a lot more logic that could go into this, a little more decision-making uh, to, to be made there. Here in C-sharp, uh, it's a little simpler. We don't have checked or unchecked exceptions, and so we have, or rather, we don't have checked exceptions, and so we can just throw any exception that we need to in this case. And that's pretty much it for the replace error code with exception pattern. Thanks for watching.